Yo, what's good, Hot Peppers? There are going to be timestamps on this video for you to jump into on whatever you need to, on X Defiance. Just know Call of Duty uploads will resume, but for now, but for now, definitely give this game a shot if you haven't already. It is free, so it does not hurt to try it. And it can feel very similar to COD, depending on what settings you have, which is what we're going to get into right now. So on X Defiance, if you hit the right stick, or if you're on controller, of course, which we're going to cover into on controller and keyboard and mouse uh, this is the gameplay and ui settings that i have uh, the only thing i would probably recommend changing is possibly you know your ads field of view here really you just want to copy what you have on cod if you remember it off the top of your head really just copy paste but there are some settings that can get a little bit confusing such as like sensitivity because apparently the sensitivity goes up to 100 which we will get into in a bit here now keep in mind i will be adjusting my settings a little bit later um you know i'm very minor minor things but for the most part this is what i find pretty comfortable at the moment and i've just been en really enjoying this game uh, so I really have no problems. I haven't played too much on uh, on keyboard and mouse here. Uh, this is all personal preference. I haven't really messed with this too much. I know a lot of you guys will have different binds than me. I usually like to keep things default or at least close to COD. And then moving on con to controller where there's more sensitivities and settings that you're going to have to mess with. Uh, I play on brawler flipped. This will allow me to shoot with the bumpers just like COD. Sick layout default. Aim assist standard. Now, the aim assist in this game is pretty weak. And clearly here, if you lower this, it will just get a lot weaker. Aim response curve type, I like to use linear. My sensitivity, however, for whatever reason, I dropped it down like about 10. Um, technically, it's supposed to be at 85 because my sensitivity I like to rock with is... Uh, 17 17 on cod so again 17 times 5 that's about 85 right but i just dropped it down to 10 uh just because for whatever reason my shot just feels more accurate with uh, just doing that ads sense multiplier and uh for low zoom and high zoom both at 0 0.70 i find that's a sweet spot for me you can drop it down to 0 0.60 if needed but again 0 0.70 just whatever reason just works best left stick at 70 dead zone right stick on five um, I did not mess with the acceleration multiplier with that and had that off. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. And then the audio, I don't think you guys really care too much. I like my music low. I, I, I don't care too much about the, the music stuff. Uh, you can copy this. And then far as video and graphics, I might have a few settings wrong here, but for the most part, I've been getting like literally way over 200 frames in game. If any settings that you guys find that I have wrong here, please, by all means, correct me. But again, um, this is more for a how to snipe video and just get the small little details of you know how to make sniping better uh, i'm definitely probably gonna lower this these settings i don't know i kind of like the the graphics in this game is pretty good they did a really good job um again if there's anything you guys recommend feel free to let me know and then the language and accessibility um i did not change any of this i feel like everything is good to on my end and uh yeah all right now moving on to the loadout which a lot of you guys are curious on what kind of attachments i use so the tac 50 in my opinion is the absolute metal weapon of this game uh if you click on this sniper right here there is five attachments you can rock just like cod man i have this maxed out level 30 is pretty much the level to get all the attachments unlocked now these are the attachments i'm using now if you're leveling this up we're gonna <clears throat> go over what attachments to use first or what's which one is the most important one um, I would use anything that doesn't decrease anything, as in light suppressor. I mean, this doesn't decrease your damage. So might as well just put it on until you get muzzle booster. This increases your rate of fire because the rate of fire on the tactic is pretty slow. And once you get that, you have the muzzle pretty much good to go. Um, <clears throat> with a barrel, I like the recon barrel. Uh, I haven't tried out the rapid fire barrel, but I'm assuming it's a lot better than the recon just because it increased the ADS speed. And the timing of this sniper we'll get into on how to quick scope. But pretty much everything here is really not needed. Um, I don't think I would recommend the lightweight barrel because it would probably get you more hit markers. And you definitely don't want that, especially in close range. So recon and rapid fire are the best two. Uh, optics, I didn't change mine, but I did hear that the... 8x scope is a lot better than the 12x so give, definitely give that a try magazine quick mag definitely for sure but extended mag is the meta for this and then for the rear grip i was rocking heavy grip for a bit and then fabric all, and then all the way to uh quick draw is what i ended up using because you want to maximize the ads speed uh, i did use stock for a little bit the only stock i would recommend is the padded stock if you don't have anything else unlocked just because it doesn't take away anything else it just increases your recoil stability and flinch secondary doesn't matter try to get the mp grenade to be able to counter the shields and then for the m44 i'm still trying to level this up uh, so we'll definitely make like a class out of video for this and then now moving on to the faction i don't use cleaners or phantoms libertad sometimes echelon in my opinion is the absolute best if you look at the faction ability here intel suit you it's like literally having walls it, it's pretty uh it's pretty overpowered and a little bit of a radar as well or if you use libertad to be able to use a like a healing option uh so those two if, if you're going for sniper clips definitely recommend that all right so 
when it comes to sniping on this game, you want to make sure you center your shots. You don't want to drag your shots. The more you drag, the less your shots will land. Let me see if I can give you guys an example here. Like, you can drag just a little bit, <clears throat> like for minor adjustments, just to you land your shot to wherever you need to land. Also, there's no SBMM in this game, you guys didn't know. Now, centering, just want to make sure you line up your crosshairs around whatever corner needed. And as far as quick scoping on this game, as you can tell, like, this is literally the fastest ADS right here that, that pretty much you can get on this sniper. I know a lot of people have been issues of uh, a delay with the sniper. And the key to snipe on this game is you don't want to sprint and then try to, like, zoom in. Because there's obviously a delay. So if you just simply quick scope like that. Obviously, I did not land on somebody there, but it's a lot easier. You can basically shoot a lot more efficient. And if you notice, you can hit fire from the hip, but you can't half scope and shoot at the same time. So to counter it, just simply just remember to zoom in all the way to be able to shoot. Just like that. And another tip, if you guys want to zoom in a lot faster after sprinting, instead of just simply sprinting and then zoom in, sprint, pull back your left stick, then shoot. Just like that. Now, I obviously can't show you guys in private match because... Uh, there's no private match at the moment. But when you're doing this, make sure you focus on pulling back your left stick first, then zoom in. Just like that. We're locking down the zone. See how much slower that one is? And the last thing, uh, movement on this game. It's kind of weird, but you can slide cancel. But instead of slide canceling, you're just slide jump, slide jump. Uh, that's the movement I find that like a lot of people are doing at the moment. But when you slide jump, you can move left and right to be able to dodge them. It's apparently, it's a lot easier on keyboard and mouse than it is on controller. So just simply keep that in mind. Also, one other thing I did forget to mention is that you're not able to go prone in this game. You're able to crouch. So it's a little bit weird, but at least you don't have to deal with drop shotters. All right, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like for me. Share this with anyone that's trying to get to X Defiant. If you guys want to see the M44 class it up, let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys want to see more X Defiant videos, let me know down below in the comments as well, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. That's a quad head. That's a quad head, chat. Let's go. Perfect. I want to definitely understand, like, the movement in this game. Ooh, that's... Wait, wait that's a collat? How the fuck... Don't even line up, bro. There's a three. Oh, there's a four. There's a split quad feed. Let me go, bro. Got this shit. Don't play with me. The split. The streak. Love this bitch. Pull back because there's someone up top on B. Gone. Oh, look at this. I'm on a flank right now. I'm on a flank. I'm on a flank. I'm on a flank. Type shit. The behind the ring. Or the fucking... Hold on. Oh, the last shot he hit the last. Oh my god! That's how it's done. You have to aim ahead on this game. Shouldn't have to. Oh, sweet so feed, let's go.